Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pets Patiyut, and my project is called cookeattravel.com. Um, does anyone here love to cook? Oh, all right. Okay, good. I thought it's not a lot, but yeah. And you can, at least you love to eat and travel. So what is cookeattravel.com? So the concept of cook uh, came from when I travel around the world. I have a chance to cook because I stay with host. But when I come back to Thailand, you know, we don't have a place to cook at all. So I formed the group, my group called uh, Freestyle Cooking on Meetup, and we organize the event of cooking every week on uh, Saturday. Exactly. And um, we do uh, individual cooking. At first, we start at the uh, friend's kitchen. And it's turned to be, it's like boom, because like, I know there are a lot of people who feel the same with, as me, who want to cook but don't have, don't have a place to cook. So this one is in the 46 million restaurant in Asia Tea. We cook Italian that time. And about the eat concept, um, I make a, a book as well. So I think why we just go to the restaurant just to eat? Why don't we change the restaurant to be a cooking place? So I have already turned to restaurant in this book, which is Nguyen Tian Kitchen in uh, Tong Law. And another one is uh, Reflection again in Ari Floyd 3. And we turning, turning, or actually it could be around the world, not only in Thailand. Okay. So the concept is turning the restaurant into a cooking place. And we can go like a group eating, go as a group and you get like special deal. Okay. About the travel. When I travel, I stay with host. And, um, it's not like a luxury stay. I work in exchange of food and accommodation. So I had the idea, why not just focus on the cooking jobs? So in this picture, it's a Japanese cooking event that uh, the host is a Japanese girl that over there. Um, we organize it for 16 people. Okay. Oops. So the con, uh, the our income would come for like uh, five ways. So we have the first the first uh, way of income is from transaction fee. The second is advertising fee. The third is marketplace, and then selling the product or international school. It could be. So, I can have, okay, thank you. So, you say the revenue is transaction? What, what type of transaction? Is it a subscription or is it? Yeah, like uh, we have a, in the future, right now what I do, I don't do it for profit. That's why a lot of people join. But I want to make a group like this to happen because right now my group is in the meetup meetup.com, which I just organized it from the 1st of November last year. Right now, we have 205 members. Yes, and I want each member who have potential, who have their own group. And when they organize, organize the event, um, people would pay by credit card, PayPal, or like, you know, and we get the, we get the fee from, from them, like uh, Airbnb or, or Agoda, when they pay. Yes, and when we got a lot of uh, members, we can do an advertising like uh, you know, Lie or Facebook. Yes, that's what I my idea. How many members do you have, and how big is your community? right now? And right now, I just start from the first November last year until now. It's two or five members. Two or five, and how many cities so Sorry? far? How many cities so far? Oh, just Bangkok. Just Bangkok. Yes, okay. because right now, um, what I do is uh. I want to raise a fund to make a system, the website. Yeah. So I would have my own website. Right now, I stick with meetup.com. I see. And, and say you successfully raised um, a fund, um, yes. crowdfunding site. And how do you plan to scale it? Yep. So actually, the, the website, I've already had uh, some indirect uh, competitor. Do you know it with? Yeah, eatwith.com. Uh, but my idea is link more for 
eat and travel as well. Eat with just uh, eat with local. But for me, I have a restaurant and the host family get involved. So to scale up, at first I would start in Thailand to explain. I, I have a potential, a lot of potential members. Like I have Robert from Hua Hin, I have Riza from Japan, I have Sumiko who come and then like I would encourage them to 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 make their own event. Yes, at first and then I would go to Chiang Mai and I would go to Phuket. That's the first plan and then we might I think the plan is uh, like uh, make it around Asia, uh, ASEAN, and the ASEAN plus three, Japan, China, and Korea, South Korea. I see. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. And you raise funds, and you want to give them the reward. What kind of reward that you give in return? Yep. Thanks. Uh, the return is like four hundred baht to join the Thai cooking, 500 baht to join the international cooking, and the higher reward. Um, I'm, I haven't decided yet. But like uh, normally, my, my cost, the, the cost of cooking is uh, from 450 to 600, depends on place or cuisine that I cook. Like uh, this Saturday, we would organize it at Haba. Uh, we would do Japanese cooking with love. Uh, it's a Valentine's Day, so yeah, yeah. So it's uh, 550 if you're interesting, and we limit to just 10 people. Right now we have four. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, pets, you're hitting all the right spots with the, the, everything that you've said. It's extremely fundable. Okay, uh, it's very clear you've got a great passion for this particular area. You've articulated the problem. Uh, you've articulated other people have a similar problem and very, very crucially, what the solution, what the revenue model is, and very crucially, when you're looking for a startup to pay attention to, you're looking for someone who's got a passion for something, you're looking yep. for someone who has domain knowledge about that particular area, and has the skills to deliver upon it. Uh, so it's very nice to see the way that you pitch it all, because you've got all the elements thank, down pat. Thank you very much, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.